Luis Diaz yeah. scores at Luton at the weekend. And of course, his parents kidnapped in Colombia, taken away, I think, at a service station. His mother has been returned safe. His father is still being held. John, am I right? This takes me back. Yeah. You and I were on Sky yeah. some years ago. Do you want to tell the listeners this morning on TalkSport why you're on with me and what had happened with your dad? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, my I remember that, um, obviously. Um, you know, my dad got kidnapped uh, while I was playing for the national team at the World Cup uh, 2018, I think, in Russia. Uh, group stages, uh, knockout stages, we were about to play against Argentina. Uh, so two hours before the game, uh, I got a phone call from my brother saying that my dad has been kidnapped for the second time. He's been Where? kidnapped Where? First, in, the first in Nigeria. Time. Yeah, in Nigeria. He was kidnapped first time, uh, you know, and I spoke to the, you know, to the kidnappers and they, they, and they demanded lots of money from me, which I did eventually had to pay before my dad got, uh, got released. But the second time happened while I was at a national team playing for my country. Uh, group, uh, knockout stages against Argentina. Two hours before the game, I got this phone call from my brother <clears throat> saying that dad has been kidnapped again for the second time. So for me, that was absolutely shocking. The first time was was shocking, but the second time was even more shocking because I was go, go I was you know about to go into one of the biggest game of my you know of my life. Uh, but just knowing that my dad has been kidnapped again for me, it was it was absolutely heartbreaking. Uh, I couldn't leave the room. I couldn't tell anybody. I was alone in the room for about an hour, about about thirty minutes, thinking, "What what am I going to do? Should I tell the the manager? Should I tell my 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 teammates, or should I make an announcement?" But we're about to go into the biggest game, you know, of of our lives. You know, we're about to play against uh, Lionel Messi and Argentina. So I thought about it. You know, I was like, "Okay, you know what? I'm going to keep quiet." I told I called my mom. My mom was crying. My brothers, everybody was crying on the phone. They were like, no, you shouldn't go out and play because, you know, you're not going to be able to perform well. This is, this is, this is, what are you going to do? So I was like, so I, I was like, you know, I took time on my own and I decided, you know what, I'm going to go out there and perform. I'm going to go out there and play. So I didn't tell anybody. I went on the pitch and I played. I played the game. Sadly, we didn't win the game. Uh, and then after that, I told everybody and it was, you could see in the dressing room, the manager, everybody was, some of the players were, you know, were like almost in tears, were like, you know, you should, you should, you know, you should have told her, you shouldn't have played. But I can relate to Luis Diaz, what do you know, what he's going through. This, this kind of situation, a situation whereby you absolutely have nothing to do. You just have to wait because they will call you, they will demand for this, they will demand for that. They will say, if you don't, if you don't do what we want, we're going to shoot your dad, we're going to kill him. Because I had my dad on the phone crying on the phone. I was like, please, can you give them what they want? Because they, they you know, I've, be, I've been beaten up here. And they've got gun. Uh, they've got a gun on my head every time, saying they're gonna kill you. They're gonna kill uh, kill me if if you don't give them the money that they want. So you managed to get them released. Yeah, I managed to pay lots of money to you know to get my dad released. Was it the same group the first time who kidnapped him the second group, time? A different group. The, the the group that kidnapped him the first time, they were found. They're in prison. Uh, they went to prison, and the second group as well, they were found as well. They went to prison. Ah, they got done. Yeah. What did you done, think yeah. when you heard about? Luis Diaz's situation. Uh, I was watching on TV. I, I could feel exactly how he was feeling uh, because, again, like I say, you need people. You need people around you. You need your family around you. You need friends to be able to calm you down, talk mm -hmm. to you, and, mm -hmm. and that's like, the most difficult time of your, you know, of your Would life. Would you be tempted to get in touch with them, John? Yeah, of course I will be because I mean I I feel exact I know exactly how he's feeling and for him to come out and perform the other day and and, and score for Liverpool I mean but I will say you know this situation is so so heartbreaking and um, until you 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 go through it you you mm. you can't really you don't really know exactly what he's going to but I can relate to that really how is your dad is my dad okay? is fine my dad is fine uh, you know but. Again, those situations teach you, you grow up as a person, you grow up learning so much. Um, you know, I remember my dad, you know, coming out and saying, you, you know, I was almost, they were going to shoot. I was, I was 100% that they were going to shoot me. They were going to kill me. And for some reason, it got to a point whereby the money wasn't important for them because they knew that if they, if they release me, they will be found. So. I could hear them say, talking to themselves. One of them was like, "Let's just shoot him, and, and just let's just shoot him, and put him on the sidewalk, and just, you know, leave him there." 
You heard them say that. Yeah, yeah. My dad was like, let us, let's just... The, when when he was released, he was telling me that he thought he, you know, they were going to kill him because he could hear them talking to each other saying, let's just shoot him because if we do release him or if we do take the money, we will be found. And I, I don't know the situation, you know, or the conversation that he's having with the kidnappers right now. Because, but what happened is that they do call you and make certain demands. And and if you say, okay, I'm going to pay, they, they go even higher. They're like, if they say, okay, for example, we want a million pound. Mm. And if you say, okay, I agree to that, I'm going to send you a million pound. They want two. Mm. So at the end of the day, it, it has to come to a point whereby you don't know what to do. And mm. that was uh, the state that I came to. Where I was like, you know what, guys, I'm going to give you this. You have to release my dad. And eventually they, you know, they agreed to that. There's not much you can do, John, is there? It sounds almost too... Too obvious to say, it, mm. Simon. He's in World Cup duty in Russia. You, you, you've got no control of what's going on back yeah. with your family in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Luis Diaz is playing his heart out for Liverpool. Yeah. He's got no control over what's happened to his mum and dad who go into a service station in Colombia. Mm, mm. I mean, that's exactly what you say. I think my dad was at work. He finished work when he, you know, and he was driving home, and all of a sudden he got he, he got this car pulled over and told him to pull over. And then he pulled over, and yeah, that's how he was taken. You you were amazing that day, if I may say so, at yeah. Sky, because you were under so much pressure. I remember you were on with myself, and then Georgie Thompson was on yeah. with the, yeah. the two of us. Yeah. And you were constantly looking at on your phone. phone. Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah, I was constantly looking, and and and, and that was uh, the time where I've already sent the money to them, and hoping that they they will they will accept my offer and that's why I kept checking my phone and, and to see that if they've accepted or if it's been released Do you want to use us here in Talk Sport to put out a message to Luis Diaz this morning what would you like to say to Luis? Yeah, I, ho I mean I hope um, you know I know exactly what you know what you're going through and what he's you know what he's going through and I hope you know he stays strong uh, I mean I know it's a tough time for him uh, as a player uh, and I know his family as well what they're going through because sometimes you look at it you think it's just you you know you have your brothers, you have your mom, you have your sisters, and what they will be going through, it's absolutely heartbreaking. So I, you know, my message to him is stay strong and do all you can to make sure that you know, you know, you know, your dad is, is released. And and the good thing is that also back then Chelsea were very supportive. I must, I must say that Chelsea were very supportive. I remember Roman saying, Do you want me to send people over? Because I know if I send people over, I can get your dad out. I was like, how are you going to do this? Like, don't worry about that. Just let me, if you want that option, I can do it. And I'm happy to see that Liverpool are very supportive with, I must give credit to Liverpool for what they're doing. John, brilliant words on that. I still want to ask you about Chelsea today and Pochettino. Can you give us five minutes the other side of this break? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope, you know, I, I you know we get back to winning ways. Young team, okay. uh, you All know, right. new manager. I hope that we get back to winning ways. <laughs> Let's do that the other side of this break. And yeah. then I, I think um, I'll have pushed you so far that you might end up <laughs> till one o'clock. <laughs> 